Holy Spirit. This is going to be your monthly intuitive messages for the sign of Virgo. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm actually recording this right at the fall equinox. So we are transitioning from your season to Libra season in Tropic. So I hope you have really enjoyed your birthday season. Okay. Um, Virgos, I, I've had a little bit of a difficult time with your energy. I gotta be honest. And I don't know how much of it is just being in the equinox in the middle of eclipse season um, or other, maybe your energy, I'm not sure, but it's like, I keep feeling this call to like slow and just be in quiet and all of that, that to me feels very collective. So maybe you're feeling that right now too, but I was also feeling, um, a lot of gratitude as well. And I want to say your center of gratitude has shifted. <laughs> Even when it first came to me, I was like, gratitude? <laughs> like gravity it's like no gratitude but maybe your center of gravity has shifted I don't know I don't know your life like that um but yeah I feel like you yeah you're in a you're in gratitude right now but something about it is different I want to say what you have gratitude for has shifted yeah yeah what you value what you prioritize what means something to you is different now and your life is now reflecting that as you are going through that shift. And so that's really nice. Like maybe you put a lot of priority on work and maybe now it's about family. Like, you know what I mean? That kind of deal. And so the way you navigate your reality right now, your center of your reality is different. So maybe some of you are becoming a parent. Um, pregnancy? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that feels very strong for some of you. Like literally your focus has shifted to like, what needs to be more important right now, which like if you're having a kid, you're having a kid, right? And that's kind of takes precedent over other things for the most part, depending on who you are. Just something I was feeling, obviously that's not true for most of you. It's just something I was feeling, but that's mostly what I'm getting with you. And like, you feel very just chill. You feel very chill. I do think some of you are cultivating the reality you really would like to have. And that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. That's honestly all I'm getting. And we'll see what else comes out. I also was um, wondering if I should go about this reading differently, like going from more like macro spiritual to like what's going on in like physical reality, more on the superficial level. But we'll see. I am going to use less decks actually this time around. And so we're just going to flow with it. I'm going to start with the wild unknown animal spirit deck from a Virgos. <clears throat> Some of you, uh, what I was getting to before recording, some of you have come to some sort of true, like things have revealed themselves. Thank you, they're confirming. They like to correct me when they're confirming. <sighs> some things have revealed themselves in the present, whether you are in a relationship, a job situation, or just something about yourself even, um, the truth about something has been revealed and it's making you realize that you have invested in whatever this is, like in a way where it has, prevented you from investing in other things that you would have in the past and it's making you very nostalgic like for example like maybe you're in a, in a partnership like maybe you live with somebody maybe you're married and you're realizing like oh things from a couple years ago or a few years ago whether those were relationships or jobs or just activities or just life events that you could have really benefited from investing in you didn't because of this relationship and now that truth is revealed to you like it's got that kind of flavor to it um, some of you, this is like has more of a work component, but I'm feeling like relationships are at the core of this, Virgo. I do. Yeah, I do. I feel like relationships are kind of at the core of this. Yeah. 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 And for some of you, the truth about these like present situations of how it's affected your past, yes, making you think about these other things, making you realize you can invest in those other things, it's never too late. Um, but I'm also getting some of these present things that you're getting clarity on now have actually caused more confusion than they've needed to almost like, I mean, they're showing me like, like a fogginess, like, yeah, like a fogginess, almost like put blinders on you a little bit. And I don't think, I still don't think this is a bad thing. I, yeah, I still don't feel like it's bad. I don't feel like you missed out necessarily. It just kind of is what it is and you're just realizing that and it's just getting you to realize your values your priorities are shifting because of this truth yeah okay <clears throat> let's get into the animals here any messages or insights for Bert? oh man my voice hang in there with me guys my asthma is not happy today neither is clyde it's, i was out all day yesterday and i think my asthma is just like why did you do that <laughs> why did you do that on a windy fall day <clears throat> 
any messages or insights for Virgo at this time. Any other messages or insights for Virgo at this time? Very nice. We have Stingray and Lion for my Virgos. Some of you guys could be cuspers with Leo, not necessarily. Um, Lion is my King of Wands card, and actually Sting Stingray is my King of Cups card. So we technically have King of Cups and King of Wands on the board. Fire and water, both a polarizing, almost a paralyzing. Maybe some of you have a, a little bit of anxiety going on. I don't think you do at all. Um, I don't think you do at all. I do think some of you have dealt with some like being bogged down, almost like, you know, when we're just like not sure about certain things in our life, we kind of tend to sit a little bit more in it because we just can't, like we're struggling to navigate. I think some of you have been in that kind of energy, but I do think that that's dissipating. But anyway, um, coming back here, Lion almost said Leo, maybe Leo is important for you. Uh, Lion, King of Wands energy. This is a mastery of fire and Stingray to me is a mastery of water here. So you have two cards of mastery and one is about timing and like the mastery of your own energy reserves. And the other is a mastery of the emotional body, right? Having a maturity about your own emotional regulation and even your connection to spirit. Strength. I'm hearing strength. You're stronger for something and you know that too. I think this is also why like you're not really wigging out too much about whatever you have come into this awareness of regarding what really matters to you as far as what you need to invest in, what you want to invest in, and what makes you feel grateful for life, and even just what facilitates happiness, even if you're reflecting on things in the past that you didn't invest in because of these present situations that you're just not going to prioritize anymore, right? <sighs> yeah, stronger. Stronger. You're stronger for it. You're stronger for it. Some of you might have a moment upon reflecting on these other things that you didn't invest in as like, dang, maybe I missed the boat. Even then, I don't think you're thinking of it that much because it might have been the more enjoyable route. I don't think it was easier. I don't think it would have been the easier route. It would have been the more enjoyable route, but you learned more in this. You learned more by taking the path that you chose. And you're better prepared, actually, is also what I'm gathering from that. So all around, that's positive. Hold on, there's something else going on here for my Virgos. Your fog is still lifting, though. Your fog is still lifting. Your fog is still lifting. Your fog is still lifting. Some of you have definitely had your physical vitality affected by some of these present circumstances that you're no longer going to be investing in. It just feels like, like pouring water into a cup that's got some holes in it. Like, just not efficient. <laughs> and you're all about efficiency, Virgo. So again, some of these present circumstances, you're like, oh yeah, the, this is not actually where it's at as far as like, what's going to make me feel good and feel right and all of that stuff. Um, a little draining, just a little draining. Can I get another card for my Virgos, please? What you have love and passion for is what matters. And I don't know if I said it in this video um, or not, but I'm, I'm, it's coming back to me. I feel like I've had, I have this thought before I record. Maybe I, oh my God, word, I'm sorry. I feel like this came to me before I started recording. There we go. <laughs> uh, talent of the heart. Talent of the heart. Uh, some of you are realizing <clears throat> the way that you are emotional, like the way that you care for people or the way you connect with people, like that is a talent or skill for you. That's for some of you. I think most of you are just listening to your heart more of what makes your heart feel good. I just keep getting like passion and love and excitement. Like these are things you wanna feel on a regular basis and you're realizing that and like what's gonna facilitate that. And that's also part of the reveal of some of these present situations and how that's affected your decisions in the past of not taking certain paths. That you're realizing, oh, I can take those paths now. Those are valuable to me. Almost like some of these present situations got you to stop listening to yourself. Interesting. <clears throat> Can I get one more for Virgo? Can I get one more for Virgo? Oh, you got two. 
had a feeling owl was coming up. I should have just called it. So now we have unicorn and owl, some very strong psychic energy coming through here. Unicorn is the third eye, is the Ajna, while owl is also just very commonly known as having a psychic awareness sort of a vibe to the owl medicine, being able to see the light in the dark, also known as the night eagle. It's very high priest, high priestessy. The owl comes out when there is something good on the horizon. Unicorn is also a, a card of believing that the impossible is possible. It's a card of faith because it is also that psychic third eye, Ajna sort of energy. I would say these two cards together are about receiving a lot of information and clarity and truth, which is what I was already getting with you, right? Just seeing the reality of the situations you have been devoting yourself to and how that took away from situations in the past. Excuse me. The word, the word pregnant keeps coming up. And even like pregnancy is not always pregnancy, right? It's like, it's also about, um, getting filled with some sort of energy, whether it's love, inspiration, and what have you, and using that energy to incubate or to cultivate something to bring into reality. Like that's even a pregnancy vibration that some of you guys are experiencing right now. But I do feel an interaction happening between you and other people. Could even be one person. Most of you, it's probably one person. What is this interaction? I'm hearing the past, the past, the past. I think, okay, so this is about taking the path that you didn't take before, acknowledging an opportunity that you didn't invest in before. For those where that's a person, even if it's not just about a person, even if it's just like a skill or a move or a job, whatever, um, the road not taken, you're thinking about taking it. But, and I want to stress this, even though you didn't take it before, it kind of feels like that was the right thing at the time. Sometimes there's a timing thing to things, the timing thing to things. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Because uh, I keep getting a bit of a, I want to say confrontation. Oh, these words are funky today. Um, but it's not aggressive. It's like, when we confront something, we're just looking at it. <laughs> right? We're just like, through a lens of truth, looking at it, acknowledging it, seeing it for what it is, calling it out. That is confrontation. That's not always bad. And I don't feel like it's bad here. Some of you, if this is about a person, it's between um, someone who is very, I want to say psychic and very, and almost want to say like pure water, water, I'm getting like water and air. Maybe they have a lot of water or air placements or maybe even Aquarius. Aquarius is kind of creepy. Pisces. Yeah, Aquarius, Pisces is sneaking in there. Not necessarily, it's just what I'm feeling. Um, someone who's just like pure water, air, like just like pure fluidity. <laughs> like if you could paint them as like any similar picture, they would just be like a giant water drop. Like they're just incredibly fluid. They could have a lot of mutable in their chart. Again, not necessarily. So that's one individual. And the other individual feels very in the body. I want to say actually is very kind of Virgo and I would say it's more you. Take it as it resonates, it's not for everybody. But not all of you, this is about taking a path of a relationship that you didn't take before, but I can feel that's definitely on the table and you would know how that applies to you. Like literally look at it, it's just like, I just can't help but see it, right? Like I look at you, you look at me. I see you, you see me. But again, for those where it's not about exploring a relationship unexplored it's just taking the path not taken okay very interesting all right uh, should we get a little fay yes okay thank you we'll do a little fay don't know if i mentioned it but all the decks that i use are linked below and also don't know if i mentioned it there's a part two um if you want to dive deeper into this reading on Patreon or Vimeo, links are below for your convenience. Please read the to your descriptions on Patreon before you sign up. Thank you. Ooh. Virgo, this is an interesting reading. We have Dark Lady. My oh my. The Dark Lady is a card of initiation. She is very scorpionic. She's all about the in-betweens. In between death and birth, right? The transition. Venus has moved into Scorpio today, by the way, so... Also, don't be surprised if you start feeling those Scorpio vibes a little bit here. But Dark Lady being associated with Stingray and Lion. And like I said, you're stronger for it, right? Yes, you chose a path. And yes, it has put you in this present moment. But now you're realizing the other paths that you didn't take that are not too late to take. 
right? And realizing now because of those choices, one, what actually matters to you, what actually brings you a lot of value in your own life and a lot of joy in your own life. There's a third thing. There's a third thing. There's a third thing. I feel like uh, there's a third thing. And your strength, thank you. <laughs> and also that you're a lot stronger for it. But that's why the dark lady is here. Also really honing in on traversing the realms of the past and the mind, the subconscious. Anything else for my Virgos? The, the, the weeds, the weeds, the reeds are gonna be weird today. <laughs> I mean, just like that while I'm talking, right? Even just the way I'm talking, like the readings are going to be weird. All right. Yeah, all the wiser. All the wiser for it, all the stronger for it with the sage. And then we have ecstasis. Ooh, connection. I heard connection coming in on unicorn and owl. The sage is separating the two. So yeah, again, Virgos, you're going to explore a path that you did not take the path unexplored. Um, but for those where it's a relationship, the sage is what connects you, divides and connects you. Uh, oh, that's interesting. What divides and connects you, what we know, what we think we know. So if this is about exploring a path unexplored with a person in particular, oh, there's so many ways that this just came through. Hold on, sorry. If it's more about that, I want to say what you thought was good for you in the moment actually blinded you from what was really truly better for you and again it's not to say this was a mistake everything in their own timing right you have more wisdom for it and there's a shared wisdom i want to say you have with this person i mean this person is very psychic over here even with ecstasis kind of amplifying that but if it's not about a person if it's just about a job or an activity etc just a path you didn't take and you want to take now i feel like it's almost the same as is said to be true what you thought was better for you then you're realizing wasn't quite so much. And that's also part of the wisdom you've gained, attained here. <laughs> I'm hearing the line between ego and wisdom, right? Anyway, owl, unicorn, and ecstasis. The psychic energy here, the truth that's being revealed, coming with ecstasis is literally a card of connection. It's very much like a high frequency, do -do 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 kind of energy. You guys know how I talk sometimes. Uh, it's this electric, thank you. Oh, they're saying electric. It's an electric experience, right? So the truth that's being revealed, it's hitting you pretty clearly and pretty hard. And now again, if you are gonna be exploring an unexplored path with a very psychic person, they are very, very connected here, okay? Dare I even say very strong, like I wanna say like they almost have, like they're a transmitter or they almost have like a very strong antenna. Um, they could probably even feel you or what you're going through. It's so interesting how the cards want to be laid out. I wish I could show you guys. Um, the sage, right? Smack dab in the middle. Yeah. All right, let's pull some tarot cards and we're going to get into part two. I'm gonna, since we have unicorn out here, I'm going to use the unicorns. Why not? They're so adorable. I love them. They make me so happy. Simple pleasures, right? Okay. Actually, I would say this is probably the only deck that is not linked below because it was a gift. And I'm pretty sure you can't buy these online anymore. Hey. Some of you work with Odin. Odin or uh, is coming through. The Norse Pantheon is coming through very strong. Yeah, I just felt Freya. Some of you work with Hecate, she's not Norse mythology, but, um, or Norse, she's not North, Norse pantheon, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Odin, Hecate, Freya, even Hell, Hell's even coming through. Okay. Any other messages or insights for Virgo? Any messages or insights for Virgo? They're bringing up like actual pregnancy again. Um, 
and I am just like straight up getting c-section it's just something that I'm picking up on so if you're about to give birth maybe that's part of your plan maybe it's not a part of your plan and it might be what happens it's just something that wanted to be mentioned so I'm just mentioning it don't get scared don't get scared <laughs> king of cups so not surprising this card came out because since stingray is my king of cups card right um this path that you've taken, again, you're stronger for it, you're wiser for it, you understand what you have value for now a little bit more than you did before. You're also seeing the reality of how draining or just not in alignment these things really are, these situations, these people, and it's got you looking at the path unexplored and you're willing to explore it now. But with the King of Cups coming out here, um, this feels like it's done so much for your heart space as well. Yeah. Yeah, and it feels really good, honestly, Virgo. It feels really good. It feels like your heart is stronger, but your heart also has a, a higher capacity, actually, uh, to open up and connect to people, to have love and gratitude for other people in certain situations. And they keep bringing up the past. I think some of you are also being made aware how much of a pull, I'm going to say a pull because that's just how it feels in my body, um, how much of a pull you have to these unexplored paths. That your heart is like, come on, it's time, it's time to go. <laughs> There's a little ship in the background. I never, I don't never even seen that before. Um, it's time to go. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I was seeing the ocean before, and I just figured, okay, you're working with water. I didn't feel the need to mention it, but he is sitting on water. Any other messages or insights for Virgo? What was trash is actually treasure. Ooh, that's a statement, isn't it? What was trash is treasure. It's just a very polarizing statement. Um, again, the path unexplored, that these present situations took up so much space that you didn't explore them. I wanna say you like outright rejected some of these paths almost like not worthy, like not worthy, not valuable. Yeah, I want to say like not worth it, not worth it, which we do that all the time as humans. What was trash is actually treasure, just how it wants to be said. Any other messages or insights for Virgo? Page of Pentacles. I love that they're both also looking forward. Um, but even the lion, even the lion, everything is looking in the, in the forward direction of what's ahead of what you can experience now. The Page of Pentacles coming out is a card of practicality, but it's also a card of trust and devotion. But it's new, right? It's like new plans. It's a new direction. It's new inspiration as far as what can bring stability what can bring practicality and consistency and what you're willing to devote your resources to, your time, your money, and your energy to. Some of you, this is about friendship. Some of you, this is actually about going back to um, some, sort, some sort a form of education. <sighs> Words are hard today. Um, citrine. Citrine's also coming through really strongly. Citrine might be a really nice stone for you to work with at this time. Not necessarily, it's just something that I'm picking up on. But yeah, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of a student energy. Like some of you may be thinking of going from a more traditional job to maybe a little more of a spiritual job. I'm just, it's just something I'm seeing in the cards. Not for everybody, but it's there. Okay. Am I taking these? No, thank you. Any other messages or insights? What about to go? I'm excited for you. This feels, <laughs> as I say that, look what came out with this, with the sage magician. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you. This is, this is great. This is so great. You're prepared. You're resilient. You're wiser. Taking this unexplored path is actually going to be a way better experience than it would have been back at the time it first presented itself way better way better um i do feel like it's also part of your cultivation of a life that really suits you that you could be really truly grateful for with a lot more ease because like we can always practice gratitude it's a practice it is a practice it is definitely a choice and you practice it enough it kind of just becomes part of your being right but when we're living a life that we 
really are struggling with, it's harder. It's just, it's just the reality and it's just part of being human. It can be harder to be grateful for it, but the life that you're cultivating right now by exploring the unexplored paths, the rejected paths, one, leading you to the treasure that you thought was trash. Um, God, it sounds so harsh, right? I know. Um, but it's also cultivating the life that you can have a lot more gratitude for with a lot more ease. It just feels really good. And if this, oh my God, if this unexplored path is with a person, again, probably a very psychic person, there's a lot of magic in it. There's a lot of magic in it. And I also want to say a lot of um, potential, a lot of possibilities. Yeah. Of what can actually be created. And I want to say physically, what can physically be created. Some of you may be going um, back to this to a person for business purposes. The words today, man, the words. Okay. Any other messages or insights for Virgo? Yeah, Virgo, eight of wands. Some of you guys might be moving, traveling as a result of all of this, but this is just unstoppable movement inevitable, unstoppable, not going to stop you kind of movement. could also be about communication as well. Excuse me. Um, but I feel like this is you, you just taking the unexplored path and feeling really good about it. And it working out pretty damn nicely, I got to say. It's also lighting you up pretty nicely as well. Can I get it? one last card for Virgo? The flow you're going to experience, oh my God, just even as I said it, it feels like a relief is what I want to say. It feels like a relief, especially for those of you who are experiencing this kind of like, like heavy, like drug, like, you know, drudgery, kind of like, oh, life is so stale kind of energy. Oh, it is. It's a breath of fresh air. Can I get one last card for Virgo, please? Can I get one last card for Virgo? If you are like going back to some, so, some sort of form of education, whether that's formal or it's just like a certification or you're just learning stuff on YouTube, I think it's also going to just have you having fun again. I think it's going to add some play to your life, which feels great. Yeah. And then up through the Eight of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is one of your cards. It is a Virgo card. It's interesting because with the Eight of Pentacles, this is just something that I've been percolating on the last couple of days because my, my team was talking to me about it. Eight of Pentacles is a card of mastery. It is a card of mastery. Um, and also... I feel like that's coming into play with um, any sort of form of education that you are exposing yourself to or that you are exploring, again, exploring the unexplored. I think it's going to pay off. I think it's going to be really great. Now, if you are taking a path that's unexplored and it involves a person or relationship, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some component of business or learning from them, like a mentor-mentee kind of a situation. But I feel like there's just going to be so much flow. It's going to feel so great. And it's you're just going to be in your groove. You're going to be able to do your virgo -y thing, so to speak, in this in this energy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for those where you've also been in a state of confusion about your path, that's going to be totally gone. That's going to be totally gone. And you're going to be so happy to put in time and money and energy and devotion into what you have rejected before, into what you have unexplored before because of these situations that you're just realizing, holy shit, like this ain't for me. This is not in alignment with me. And now I can go back to what actually is. Yeah, this is really nice. I like it. All right, we're gonna dive into part two where we're gonna get a little bit more specific. I think I may actually pull tarot cards on work and love, maybe even health, um, like to make it much more about the practical side of things. I just feel the need to do that. So I may do that. Okay. All right, Virgos, I'm going to go, but I love you. Take care. I hope you really enjoyed this reading and found it to be supportive for you. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Virgos.